What the heck is up, you guys? It's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes here, back with some more action figure news. And my, 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 today we've got to talk about some SH Figuarts One Piece greatness. Now, I don't know what Tamashi Nations is on right now with the release that we're about to discuss that you guys already saw in the thumbnail. But if you haven't seen the promo pictures, we got some stuff to talk about because, man, I think somebody from the Naruto line stepped over to the One Piece side and said, hold my beer because, man, oh, this figure we're about to talk about is something serious and you guys have absolutely no idea how excited I am to talk about this. It is my favorite character from One Piece where the name Ace on my channel even came from because I love this character so much. And it's just, oh. let's go ahead and get right into it. Drop a like for your boy as I would greatly appreciate it and make sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload these videos. Now let's talk some One Piece. So a little while ago, there was some grayed out promo shots of an SH Figuarts Ace figure, or so we thought that were floating around on Instagram. And because I didn't really know anything about it, I decided not to go ahead and discuss it. I heard some people say that it was on Tamashi Nation's page. I didn't see it. I heard some people say it was on Tamashi Nation's website. I didn't see it there either. And so basically, I just received the images from a friend of mine. And since I didn't have any information, I wasn't going to make a video. But now, oh my gosh, guys, I... I'm probably going to be running all over my words in this video, but look at this masterpiece of an action figure. Like, this is so damn good that I don't believe that it's even SH Figure Arts, bro, because I don't see any SH Figure Arts logos on here. I don't see any kind of Bandai this, Bandai that. And, and until I see that, I'm just going to say that we got an Ace figure, but I'm going to put SH Figure Arts in the title just because that's what everyone is saying it is. But look at this thing, man. This looks like Sentinel. This looks like, this looks like a scaled down mega house figure this thing looks too amazing to be sh figure arts and the reason i say that is just because we've seen their one piece figures and matter of fact let me take that back because their one piece figures for the most part look great but have all been extremely lackluster now don't get me wrong i have been enjoying gear 5 luffy but at the end of the day it's still not a peak action figure this looks peak man like look at this guy you can tell this is clearly ace from alabasta whenever he first rejoined with luffy and the crew when he was looking for blackbeard and this is just so good he comes with so many fire accessories he comes with his flaming fist he comes with the hand accessory that's got the flames radiating off of the fingers this is so just regular flame effects he comes with a soft goods jacket what? What? They even got the scarf? They could have left that out and no one would have thought about it. What? And then look at this also. Look at all the other accessories that he comes with, bro. And look how well he scales with the part one Luffy. And this is what makes me believe that it actually is SH Figuarts. But it's hard to believe because the One Piece line has been mediocre. This is not a mediocre. Let me not say that, bro, because I'm afraid I'm going to get this figure in hand and, and it's going to have some QC issues. But as long as it poses the way it looks like it does in these videos and parts are not falling off, this could very well be my favorite action figure of all time, man. Favorite action figure of all time. Even though Ace wasn't in One Piece very long, I fell in love with his character so much, man. And I am and just livid for this figure, yo. I want this, like, and I say livid because it's it's scary. It's scary, but this looks good, bro. This this looks good. And uh, let's get to the meat of the figure. First of all. Obviously, it's different than what we've seen from SH Figure Arts so far in terms of the One Piece line. I think this is the first one that we actually see soft goods on. 
I think that this figure is going to be some kind of web exclusive. I definitely think it is. If it's not, that's going to surprise me. I was even surprised that, that Luffy and Kaido weren't. But I do think that this guy is going to be because of the fact he's got the soft goods and he just comes with a crazy amount of accessories. And this technically isn't a body that they could reuse unless they decided they wanted to remake Ace from the Marine Ford arc, which, of course, is going to require a bit of new sculpting because he's not wearing any of his gloves. The knife and stuff is gone. All of that. Um, I believe he still had his necklace, but that's about it. Um, they're, they're not the gloves. I mean, the, the little elbow shin pads, whatever they are. I don't know. I'm not doing editing on this video but either way this is peak bro this is peak uh i'm just expecting this figure i know a lot of people were upset about the sh figure art sage mode naruto being 90 bucks which is definitely a little too much for a reused body with a jacket and repainted faces it definitely was too much it was delusional but of course it's naruto i had to get it but this right here if this is 90 bucks, I feel like it's justifiable, bro. Look at everything he comes with. It comes with more than the Sentinel. It comes with, with more than the Mega House. This is going to be the definitive 112 scale ace action figure. And I truly pray that it has no QC issues. I want this to be a perfect figure. Like I said, the One Piece line has been good, but it's been far from great. Every figure has had that one problem or some figures have two or three problems that just keep them from being great we're not talking Zoro. that's a bad figure but the rest of them they usually just have one or two i'm hoping this guy has no problems tamashi nations if you watch this video do this one right do not mess this up because I'm telling y'all people are excited for this one. The action figure community is not going to forgive you if this action figure is not perfect. Don't mess this one up. All right, guys, I got so caught up in the hype while recording this video that there's two things I left out when I was discussing this figure and the promo images. The number one being that he comes with so many facial expressions. He comes with a total of five, which is basically every single expression he had during his time with Luffy and the crew before he went his separate way. So I truly love the attention to detail there. And then the fact that he comes with that extra faceplate for Luffy, it's just the cherry on top when it comes to accessories. I know some people don't like the whole build a figure thing, but at the end of the day, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to complain about facial expressions coming with other action figures. It is a selling point. It's a marketing tool and companies have to come up with strategies to sell figures. This is one I didn't feel like they had to do that on, but I'm still happy about it. But the other thing that I really like is the fact that they finally got rid of that white background. Now, I've been saying this. If you've been watching my One Piece videos, you'll know white backgrounds are just boring when it comes to certain items. Now you can sell some things with a white background, but I feel like items are more catchy to the eye when they have a background that makes the items pop. And I wanna say that's exactly why we love looking at the Dragon Ball photos, the Naruto photos, the Bleach photos, other action figure lines that have uh, a more colorful background. So that's just something that is is human nature like we like to look at things that are appealing to us and i feel like certain kinds of colors just help to sell things even more now anyway i don't want to dive off into that too much guys this is it yo uh, this is if this comes out this year or next year whenever it does this is going to be my grail i know some people were in my comments saying oh yeah you're definitely going to pick up two of these no my boy i'm definitely going to try to get my hands on about four of these so yeah I, this is a figure i want in my collection to where i can just have as much fun as i can and if one breaks hey let's pop that the second bad boy open but anyway um we don't have any news on this right now other than these images but you guys already know that once it comes out i'm gonna be bringing it to you uh this guy right here is gonna be pretty difficult to pre-order unless he is an exclusive so if he is a regular release just go ahead and prepare to be stressed out or possibly have to go to big bad toy store but that's another story anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that bell icon to be notified whenever i upload new content and last but not least follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up my activity outside of youtube hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, bye.